A Brighton woman says the time is finally right to do something she's always wanted to do, helping to raise a puppy that will someday mean the world to someone else. Doug Emblidge tells us about Eleanor Oy, someone you should know. Let's go. Oh, silly. Good boy. This is Eleanor, <laughs> and this is Danny, the 14-week-old puppy that became part of Eleanor's family last month. We were supposed to be doing things that he's going to eventually have to learn how to walk on the correct side of a person how to you know sit and basically be a calm patient dog and wait you know while the person is talking or working or doing what they need to do in life if things continue to go well denny will graduate from eleanor's care to go to school to become a guide dog for the blind you see guide dogs were part of eleanor's childhood her late father walter an economics professor at the U of R, was blind. It was critical important for my dad to be able to do everything that he did. He traveled by himself. He went on the bus to work every day and home every day. And, you know, it gave him independence. And those guide dogs, five of them through the years, were like family. We had one dog who was notorious for walking around puddles and usually led my dad straight through the puddles. <laughs> So the trust factor was there, but also occasionally was the, come on, really? <laughs> and he, but, you know, my dad just dried his feet out and it was fine. Uh -huh, sit. Thank you. Helping a future guide dog get its start is not easy. There are weekly classes and training benchmarks to meet. But Eleanor had always wanted to do this, and she calls it a privilege. And yes, she is ready for the day in a year or so when she will send Denny on his way. Knowing what the dogs brought to my life growing up and my father's life in particular, I, I think it's going to be okay for us to let go. Until then, having Denny around will be a treat. Doug Emblidge, 13 Wham News. It costs about $50,000 to breed, train, and match a dog, which is then given to the visually impaired free of charge. You can learn more about donating or volunteering at guidingeyes.org.